Gary made a post about Instagram and social media, which I thought it was really good. It was actually, it was very good. I actually sent it to my videographer because we've been, we've been just, we're always trying to tinker and everything that I do on social media, the way that I think about all of my posts is every post is a test. Like everything that I do is just a test to see. It's not like a pass or fail. It's sort of like when, when people look at their daily nutrition as a pass or fail, Mm -hmm. if they didn't hit their calories that day, they look at it as a failure and they're like, well, why bother? And people often coaches, people trying to build their fitness business or whatever it is online. They look at their social media posts, like a pass fail. If it gets a good amount of likes or a good amount of views or whatever it is, it's a pass. And it's all completely subjective in terms of what's a good amount versus a bad amount. And it can change day to day and all of that. But if it gets a bad amount, whatever you've deemed bad response, then you failed. And I think that often leads people to not want to post anymore, not want to share content, not think that they can succeed. And it's been very interesting looking at, at Instagram over, especially over the last year, but especially since TikTok really blew up. But I think Instagram changed a lot over the last year or so, maybe even six to eight months. The, how, how content does, I, I used to be able to pre- predict it with a pretty high level of certainty, how a piece of content would do. Now it's zero level of certainty. I have no mm-hmm. idea how a piece of content is going to do. And he made a great piece of content. I'll show it to you, the people watching on YouTube. He has the first slide has, it's going to be backwards on the screen, but me trying to figure out what's working on Instagram right now. <laughs> it's just like him, like in the middle of an office, like with red lines and papers posted up, but then you swipe over and it's a video of him talking about it. And he's basically in the video, he's like talking about how he's trying to hack Instagram. And, and he said, he was talking about how some social media platforms are early on in the social media game. Different platforms were, it was like the, the minor leagues or little league. He said, Instagram used to be more minor leagues, little league. It was relatively easy. Now it's the pros. Instagram is, is a different ball game now. It is, it's a very different world. And he's constantly trying to figure it out. And, and uh, he's going through periods of better or worse engagement, which I think, you know, he's got over 10 million followers, right? And this is Gary. Like, this is what he's arguably most well known for is social media stuff. And so it, it was a very, very good, insightful, honest, open post just saying, this is normal. It's a different ball game. Things have changed, but like keep trying new things. And instead of looking at it from a pass fail perspective, look at every post. It's just a test. You're just Mm -hmm. testing it out. Try Mm -hmm. new things. Um, I just did an entire series, part one, part two, part three of chin up videos, like how to get your first chin up. Probably the worst engagement I've had since like 2014 on posts, Mm -hmm. (laughs) like just terrible, Mm -hmm. but like, cool. Like now, and I think it's funny. I, I don't think it's, it's definitely not because the videos were bad. I guarantee if I posted those videos in 2017, 2018, they would have went bananas. I actually think what's an interesting thing to be aware of now on social media, especially Instagram is the, there are so many more people making educational content that purely educational content doesn't hit as well as it used to. Like there are so many videos of how to do push ups, how to do squats, how to do chin ups. There are so many of those, and so many it it doesn't hit like it used to. People aren't as interested in that anymore. Whereas, unfortunately, one thing I do see people really interested in is like these stitch videos where you take someone else's video and then you give your commentary on it. And I think there are ways to do that that are intelligent and not ad hominem, not attacking the person. But I, I would be, I, I know someone, actually a, a good friend who's been doing it recently. And I've looked in the comments of this person's post and a lot of comments are people saying, I don't like how you're doing this because it, you're tearing the other person down. So just be very aware of when you're doing these style of posts how you're actually talking about the post and and making it clear that you're not ripping the person apart. You're talking about the ideas presented because it's a huge brand shift to go from an educational style coach to a almost like it almost looks bitter. It doesn't Mm -hmm. look good if you're trying to tear people apart. And Mm -hmm. I actually don't think it's good for I don't think it's necessarily good for business. I don't think it's good for your soul. I don't think it's good for, for your mind, for your body. I don't think it's good for you to be like looking for people's content 
to then, because that's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to look for content that's bad to then rip it apart. And I, I don't think it's the best business strategy from uh, the majority of your content perspective. I don't think that's the best idea. Sometimes, occasionally, sure, but I don't think it should be done a majority of the time. It'd be better to just take a, a news story, a headline, as opposed to an individual's content. I like that. I like those ideas about the current landscape of, uh, of Instagram and, and the mindset shift of this isn't pass fail. This is all testing. This is all learning. Like there's no good or bad outcome. There's just try, learn from, you know, adjust, try again. And I think that'll especially help uh, uh, any coaches who are struggling to make content because they feel like they aren't getting the level of feedback or the level of engagement or the positive response that they deserve, or maybe even that they used to get um, one or two or three years ago. 